Hello everyone, my name is Shashun of Aces, and welcome back to Randy's Legacy Wars. Today is, well, the Mini Megazords first recorded. There was a stream yesterday, but that was just to fill in for a video, just to show what there was, because there's not really much you can do with the Megazords anymore. Until there's a new one, there's not really going to be any difference, because it's been the same for the last, uh, three months. Or, or longer, I'm pretty sure. Also, with the connection, there is still a slight issue with my internet, so I won't. So some of it will, you will still see a few uh, hiccups, but then it clears up and goes away for a bit, and it'll come back again. It's what it's doing now. As you can tell, it has gone smooth. It was uh, apparently the start of the match was very laggy, but it's been fixed. As you can tell, it's going to be like this, and then it's just going to go horribly, and then it'll fix itself again. It's it's weird, but it's what's happening right now. And... Oh, okay, stop. Anyway, we'll be going to 12 uh, Wednesday. Hopefully, uh, just getting through these ones without a loss, like usual with the Megazords. Obviously, uh, definitely, but... Uh, okay, that's happened again. Well, stopped. And... Okay, uh, yeah, this is what I meant by that. It's still got its hiccups, which will clear up and then it'll return. Nope. You will not do that. And let's see, recover three, have a glazer, fire, and tail swipe. Nope, okay, they got me there. Are you going to, yep. I'm just going to stun you. They're going to kick. That was the worst possible one you could have done. Uh, dragon's roar, scream, into your face. And have a glazer. And they, okay, so they just did a bit of a poke. One and two. Well, here we go. On to Predazord with... Well, right now it's the third match. But anyway, you'll reappear in the next match for, obvious, for an obvious reason. And, let's see. Throw a javelin. And, recover four. And you can do something like this. It's very useful, but it's not entirely so easy to do anymore. Okay, I can ignore... No, actually, no, you can't ignore those. If they get you a to destabilize, you're not gonna end... It's not gonna end so well. Well, let's see. Here's the boomerang. And hammerhead. Into another boomerang. You should not have activated that. I I don't have javelin. But I'll just hit you with this. No crit anyway. So, hammerhead. Into a predator wave. Okay, still got quite a lead. I'll ignore this one. Crescent. Boomerang. And yay. Oh, here we go. And there he is. Well, we got a, well, SBD Zord to defeat. And here's the thing, the five Megazords I've picked is, in the f in my opinion, the strongest ones there are. They have their reasons, and they have very little weaknesses. Obviously, some have higher ones, and some are weaker, or more like, um, take, have a lower total amount of EP usage. But that doesn't mean anything if you can, well, if you're immune to some attacks. Even if you have, if you, even if you're vulnerable to interruptions. But that still means nothing if you can deal damage and return it quite easily. I can avoid that one. And wait for this. Saber strikes. They'll be stunned. And now. Lion Surge into a Thunder Blow. Punch. Recharge. Block here. And do another strike. This is the only spot where it's actually really going to interrupt me. But silence my breakers. That's all you can really do. And I'm just going to block you into a Saber Strike. Should have continued to dash back. I was going to say that Dino Megazord falls in the top 5 when I used it, but disconnected opponents that did not do anything. Good thing is the match was finished quickly, and we can move on to the next one. The Dragon Zord as the opponent. And front kick. Come on. There they are. Also, there's a bit of a bug with Dragon Zord with multiple things. Uh, just watch it when it falls. Look. You can see it's kind of in the air, apparently. And let's do one more front kick. Well, that happened. The hiccups got kind of returning. And I really thought that might have hit. It looks like they might have fixed that hitbox. Maybe, maybe they didn't. But maybe I was just wa wasn't in range entirely. And missile storm. Dash in. And that's a crit. Well, here we go. On to Freddy's Lord. Yeah, another one for Black Dragon. Let's see. How about... I start with the strike. Prison boomerang. 
Back away, they're going to... Ah, yep, that's the usual of every Predator Zord. They're just going to use their Metal Slots to like usual. Okay, here we go. Another one of these, and not happening. You really need to stop doing that. You've only used your Metal... <sighs> Hammerhead into a Predator Wave. If all you other Predator Zords are just going to use your Metal Slot the entire time, you really don't know how to play at all. This one was a block, and you're not going to be landing another strike. Because you think you can just swap to that. Hammerhead, into a javelin, recharge, javelin again. Yeah, I just, uh, okay. Well, move that one out of the way. I changed the Megas just maybe to see if I needed to use it differently. Well, moving back to Thunder Megazord. We still have yet to play with uh, Thunder Megazord because it really... Hey, why did that disconnect? I have to get a disconnect opponent and stop. Okay, here we go. Into a line surge. Into another one, and okay, you really could have just could have been better if it did something else. But stop that one, and let's see. Next one, I'll ignore that. Into a saber strikes. You did stand still, but could have tried to dash away to avoid it. And okay, nap that. I'm just getting out of that. Well, they still kick. Line surge into another thunder blow. Now, a whirlwind. Ah, that was a dash in the middle of it. Didn't let me do Thunderblow again. But that doesn't mean I can't do this one. And they st that thing's recovery is very weird. Yep, and whirlwind. Okay, but now we have to defeat uh, Samurai Megazord with Dino Megazord. Good thing is, Dino Megazord doesn't have a weakness to Samurai like it does to Thunder. That's one of the few things. Uh, Sam, uh, Thunder actually has a way to still do massive damage quickly or with the block against the Dynamic Zord, unlike Samurai who cannot. And punch them out of that and block this one. You can see that's one of the few things. Um, Samurai will always do only half, while Thunder can at least, if uh, it doesn't get blocked, can still do the full amount. Well, that's a bad duck in. Uh, let's just throw damage over time to get my breakers back. And how about this one? Now, ah, okay, you did not get to a, a different attack. Okay, back away from that. Okay, that seems a bit slow. I'm pretty sure that was a, a reactor too. I did not need to use that. It was not the Thunder Maker's Uh, Just poke them twice. And, yep, there's the ultimate. Ah, come on. And do the damage over time. Once again, what does that keep happening? Ah, kick. Okay, here we go. Uh, another thunder. Ma uh, not another, another thunder. That is uh, samurai maker's sword. Okay, here we go. Front kick and do another one. Ah, okay, no. Well, they oh, they managed to block it and missile storm. Just to not let you. Okay, they just still standing still. Uh, claw stump. I uh, really not gonna move. Uh, Dragon Frenzy, you can block it. You did not. Front kick. And you really need to just. What are you even doing? Efficient Striker, into a front kick. Into a Dragon Frenzy. Into. Ah, well, it still reduced it. Even if, it, well, even if I didn't use it, it would have reduced. And Dragon Frenzy again. Are you gonna block? You did, but headbutt. Here we go. Uh, Dynamic is all 2017. If I think of the ones that I really don't think might uh, just cause a problem. This one can deal damage quickly, but yet it's still got its issues. And Tailswipe. Few reasons, even if it has the fastest breaker, it can be reacted to with a strike. And scream into your face now. And you can tell it does get reduced quite a bit. Even though that wasn't really a crit, which is mainly what you wanted to do. But it's still not the strongest crit. Okay, by the looks of it, they're gonna block. I'll just fire a laser. This will just allow me to at least. Uh, no, you're not lighting that. If you use a breaker, well, I'll block this one. Still not hitting me. And back at you are now just going to let me do this. Tail swipe. Into a negative beam. Into a dragon's roar. Just. Uh, okay, you've got that again. But it doesn't look like you can do much. Negative beam again. 
Interrupted. Dragon's Roar. Scream into your face again. And block the final kick. You will be headbutt. Well, okay, there's a um, uh, Well, you'll see again why they really need to. Uh, we'll see what they do. It's pretty much depending. Hammerhead into a predator. You're gonna block? Yep, that's the usual. They don't realize it. You need to really re learn that one. And Crescent Boomerang. We're gonna block it again. No, Hammerhead. And this time with Crescent Boomerang. And there's their block. You're stunned. Learn to attack first, and then you'll be allowed to use anything you want. Wait for this, and that's not what you do. That's another thing, you have to watch your opponent if they use that hammerhead. Well, I've got the hammerhead, and now I'm just going to go into a predator wave after using it. Right about now. They're going to block again? Nope, they finally watched. Okay, back away. Ah, okay, they didn't change anything, but that doesn't give you enough energy to do what you want. So you couldn't really block it. I'll avoid this. Or more like, ignore it. Okay, you only have those. I have my ultimate, so if I land a javelin, you'll be close to death, but not entirely yet. And, there's a crazy boomerang. You are close. You only need 10,000. Well, now we move on to the final match. We've only been fighting the ones that really... Yeah, we keep fighting these ones. And we... It's just been Samurai and Movie Megazord. And you stop. Or more like, now you stop. And back away. Don't try and land that. Let's see. Flop. Okay, no, that did not. I didn't react in time. Uh, Mega Beam. Fire. Okay, this one. Elbow. Nope. Saber Strikes. You're gonna block. Use the Breaker. Why? Yeah, you reduce damage, but all it did was nothing. Let me back away, get away from this one, and Thunder Blow Punch while you're in the middle of that. That did not work. Well, stop that one. And another Thunder Blow. Let's see. Avoid kind of the first hit. And they. Okay, they interrupted. You have the energy. Doesn't look like it. Whirlwind, go. Interrupting their attack. And Lion Surge. Okay, that happened again. Uh, thunder Blow. No crit, so it didn't end sooner. And you're out. That took quite a bit. Thought it might have been the final, but there was still enough time. I technically did this close to the end of the window since I don't know how many matches I really want to do with Megazords. So at least we get to fight with the Iron Megazord again. And it looks like they know what they're trying to do. Nice. Ah, okay, now uh, that attack is not going to reach in most cases. Well, rushing double. And the biggest hit in the game has happened. Remember, that is, if you really don't want to be hit by something, try to avoid getting, well, fighting the Diamond Maker Sword and letting them use that enlightening. Uh, okay, now I'm just going to use a strike. No crit this time. And just to end it, Power Sword, go. And you're stunned into a lightning blast. Well, this is the current leaderboard, with uh, that person already taking that high spot. To be exact, they must have... Well, they were there already before the last window, so they spent about enough to play for 8,000 each time. I didn't really play much uh, yesterday, as there have been hiccups in the internet. It, was, it actually cleared up right in the middle of it. But yeah, that's my current score. I will still be climbing higher when the window opens again. But yeah, if you guys enjoy the Megazords or the mini Megazords return, it's not really a theme, it's just Megazords because that's all. There's nothing really new about it. It's just fight as usual. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like, comment if there's something you would like to see, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to not miss anything. As you my Discord, it's in the description. And I'll see you on the next Founders video. Goodbye.